Hey, babe. How's it going? Hey, baby. It's going good. Are you almost done with work? <laughs> no. Not even close. I may not get off until 8. Maybe even later. Are you serious? Yeah. Why do you work so much? I mean, I kind of have to. How are we going to pay for our bills or fund our lifestyle if I don't work? Can't you just take the rest of today off? I really want to go to the mall today. Babe, we just went to the mall this past weekend. So, I want to go back again because I want to see if that new Gucci wallet is back in stock. I really wish I could take you, baby, but I can't. How about I take you Friday evening? I may be able to get off a little early. You always do this. What do you mean? I'm trying to work with you here. You are just so boring. You never want to hang out with me. You never want to do anything with me. All you want to do is work, work, work. You know that's not true. I take you out almost every weekend. And maybe I want to go out Monday through Friday too. Okay, what's more important to you, Ricky? Your wife or your work? Obviously, you are, baby. Then you better start acting like it. Babe, I really wish I can take you, but I can't. My company won't run itself. Yeah, you always say that. What more do you want from me, Tiff? Why do you act like I neglect you? You're making me look like a bad guy here. Oh, so I'm the bad guy, huh? No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I don't want to hear what you have to say anymore. I am ugh, so fed up with you, you pathetic 9 to 5 slave. You were right, Steph. I should have listened to you. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. I always knew Ricky was boring. I mean, I knew it too, but I didn't think he was this boring. He only ever wants to hang out with me on the weekend. Ew. I know, right? What a loser. He treats me like I'm average. I'm above average. Oh, honey, you are way above average. I'm way above average, and he should be treating me like I'm way above average. You ever thought about divorcing him? Every day. But then I wouldn't have his money. You take half of his. Half ain't enough. Well, you know there is another way that you could walk away with everything. I know. But how do you find someone like that? There's no, like, app for that. You can't put a Craigslist listing out, I don't know. I know somebody. You know somebody. Mm-hmm. You have been listening to me complain about my husband for months, and finally just now you tell me that you know someone who could take him out? Well, you never asked. Well, I'm asking now. Okay. Give me his number. So you want me to take out your husband? Well, yeah. I mean, why else would I be here? You know what that means, right? Duh, of course I know what that means. I want my husband dead, and I want you to kill him. Name your price. Ten grand. Done. Ah. Ten grand now, and ten grand after. Fine. You know what? It's too much to count. It's his money's anyway, so it should be more than enough. Hey, give me your address. I want you to take him out in our apartment. And I'll give you a spare key so you can get inside. Okay. When do you want this done? As soon as possible. Tomorrow night would be best. I'm sure I can pencil you in for tomorrow night. Perfect. Oh, um, before you take him out, can you do something for me? Can you look him in the eyes and tell them that I sent you? I want him to know that before he dies. Yeah, I can do that. Perfect. You don't have any hidden cameras in here, do you? You think I'm a cop? Are you a cop? 
I've been accused of a lot of things, sweetheart. Being in bacon with a badge ain't one of them. How do I know you're not lying? Well, you'll find out tomorrow night. This time tomorrow, you're either going to be a widow behind bars. Yeah, well, either of those scenarios is better than being married to that loser. Hey, princess. What? I suggest one thing. Work on your acting skills. So when the cops show up tomorrow night, you better know how to cry. Why don't you worry about your job? And I will worry about mine. Hey, baby. Where were you all day? Why do you even care? All you care about is work. Are you serious? Come on. I'm trying to stretch up Olive Branch here. Work with me. I was at Steph's. Nice. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you have fun working? No. It was a stressful day. But listen. I checked out that Gucci wallet that you wanted online. And I ordered it for you. Really? I wanted to surprise you with it, but I thought I should go ahead and tell you before you go out and buy it yourself. That was really thoughtful of you. Also, I was thinking on taking a two-week break next month. Maybe we can go to Europe or something. Yeah, um, I just have to go take a shower. I, you need sleep. We, we'll talk about this tomorrow, okay? Sounds good, baby. Yeah. Hello? Hey girl. Tonight's the night. You ready for it? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. No, I... no. I just feel kind of bad. Well, why? Because Ricky's actually a good guy, and he's kind, and he does the best that he can to put my needs before his. Tiffany, are you telling me you don't want to do this anymore? I just don't want him to suffer. What does that mean? I am making Ricky something special to help him fall asleep. <sighs> Tiffany, you are too nice. You need to just let the plan play out and whatever happens, happens. He's been kind to me, okay? I owe him at least this much. Okay, well, just let me know when you're on the way to my house, okay? I will. As soon as I'm done making this, I will be on my way over. Okay, see you soon. Hey, babe. Yeah? I know you love my cooking, so I made you a sandwich for dinner. And I also poured you a glass of that red wine that we just got, because the doctor said it's healthy for your heart. Wow. Thanks, babe. That's so sweet. I'll definitely eat the sandwich, and I'll make sure I drink the red wine for my heart. I am going to go to Steph's. Oh, nice. Have fun. Thank you. Oh, hey, by the way, I love you. I know. What's taking so long? Do you think everything's going okay? 
I'm sure it's fine. Remember, he's not only taking Ricky out, but he also has to make it look like a robbery. You're right. Are you sure Marco is not a cop? He is not a cop. Here, take this to calm your nerves. Okay. It's Marco. What's he saying? It's done. How do you feel? I feel... single and ready to mingle. <laughs> yes, cheers! That's what I like to do! Okay, come on, let's go. You gotta cry and put your sad face on. Chuck that! Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. It really does look like a robbery. He did a really good job. He better not have broken any of my furniture. <gasps> oh my god, Tiffany. Is that the body? I think it is. Mm. Tiffany, just don't go over there. Just come on, let's just call the police. Do not go any closer. But I want to see him. I need to make sure he didn't suffer. Oh my god. Marco? What? Don't worry. He's not dead. Oh my god, Ricky. Now were you were expecting, huh? How 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 is it? How, how did I what? Survive? Yeah. Honestly, by sure luck. You see? Marco broke into the apartment and was making his way to kill me. Fortunately for me though. I didn't have time to eat the sandwich you made for me or drink that wine from my heart. So Marco decided to help himself. By the time he got to me, the drugs started kicking in. Before they knocked him out though, he managed to tell me one thing. Your wife Tiffany sent me here to kill you. Say goodnight, you son of a... After the drugs knocked out your hitman, I searched his phone and found out about your plan to kill me. I called the police, staged the robbery, and then text pretending to be Marco. Your plan failed, Tiff. So what? You called the cops? Are the police on their way? Oh no. They're already here. I'm gonna need you ladies to put your hands behind your back. You're both under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. You can't arrest me. You have nothing on me. Oh, we've got plenty of evidence on Marco's phone. I'm sure that when he wakes up, He'll have plenty to say, and he'll be willing to testify against you. Ricky, you can't let them arrest me. Sorry, Tiff. You did this to yourself. But Ricky, I love you. You're right. Take her away, guys. Tiffany! Ricky!